Hi, welcome to Lagoons Do It Better TV, where we provide you with bite-sized segments that help your lagoon do it better. I'm Patrick Hill, and we're on the road today at the University of Wisconsin Research Park in Madison, Wisconsin. And I'm here with jo John Deneen from, from Team Aquafix, uh, a good friend of ours here at Triple Point. So John, I just wanted to ask you, what makes Aquafix, Aquafix different than a lot of other bacteria manufacturers? Because I gotta be honest with you, Bacteria manufacturers have a, a bad reputation for being snake oil salesmen. Well, one of the things to start with would be that we make all our bacteria in-house, so we're not uh, taking some private labeled and oftentimes diluted bacterial formulation and selling it under our label. Um, but really, I think the thing that sets, separates us is that we work with our wastewater operators in kind of a partnership capacity. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of lab testing where we'll help operators who deal with particularly difficult influence come up with ways and treatments to, to better degrade those wastes. Oftentimes, part of the recommendation will be to use one of our um, products. And oftentimes, bacteria are included in those products. Uh, one of the things that we're really good at, though, is helping steer enzyme reactions. So we've done a lot of testing on how we can steer the way bacteria behave through some of the nutrient blends and the um, micronutrients we add. And we do all these things uh, with the goal of steering certain enzyme reactions. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess the main thing we try and focus on is that when our bacteria get released into a system, they're as active as possible, and they're doing the exact job that we sent them there to do. Okay. Yeah, people talk about bug counts and, you know, like, what's your bug count, you know, and that being a big thing. I mean, how important do you see that? Yeah, again, the thing that I really like to focus on is when the bacteria get to the where they're going, are they doing the job that they've been sent to do? So a great example is our nitrifier blend. Um, you know, they make nitrifiers for fish aquariums. You can get them at the pet store. Mm -hmm. um, if you put those into a wastewater treatment plant in the middle of January, they're not going to do anything. The high BOD environment is going to kill them, mm -hmm. and the cold temperatures, the ones that do remain, are going to be basically inactive. So just as an example, one of the things we do is we have a cold weather nitrifiers blend. We actually culture our bacteria in a high BOD environment in a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So when those bacteria get released into the plant, mm -hmm. they are active, they're ready to do the job they were sent to do mm -hmm. in those types of conditions. They're just well acclimated. That's cool. So what mm -hmm. kind of temperatures are we talking about in terms of acclimation? Uh, for example, I think on those nitrifiers, we were incubating them and culturing them at around a little under 40 degrees so oh, wow certainly pretty cold <laughs> yeah yeah so they're ready to rock when they get in there in terms of cold weather they're not afraid of that because that's yep. what, that's how they grew you know uh to that point um so talk to me a little bit about what you can do lagoon for lagoons and you know um you know when you're putting aeration and mixing in the way that we look at it at triple point is you put the right aeration you put the right mixing in you start to cultivate natural growth of bacteria within the lagoon um, in terms of going forward, how can Aquafix uh, products help with just the maintenance of just optimizing the lagoon treatment in general? Well, we love working with lagoons that have a well-designed and effective aeration system. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's one thing the bacteria that get added to a lagoon love, it's plenty of dissolved oxygen mm -hmm. and lots of good mixing. Um, in terms of lagoon startup, uh, after an aeration system is, has been added, um, we like to really seed in the bacteria at that point. Mm. If there's an, an existing sludge accumulation, mm -hmm. that's one of the best times for getting bacteria seeded into that sludge mm -hmm. with the long-term goal of reducing it. Right. Um, but then in terms of more established systems, um, say the aeration system's been up and running for a while, mm -hmm. things are kind of static, um, it's good to get some new bacteria in there from time to time, mm -hmm. um, and some of those biostimulants as well. Mm -hmm. So our bacteria and biostimulant blend will add bacteria cultures that do great on some of the tougher to degrade compounds, mm -hmm. some of the greases and oils, some of the starches. Um, the other thing that it does really well with is boosting the health and the function of the existing bacteria. Mm -hmm. 
Right, that's cool. So, you know, there just may not be some types of bacteria in the system already that can degrade all the waste that's in there. And by adding more, you just kind of get a bit of a boost, basically, yeah. uh, on a continual basis. And, and the nutrients are the big thing, right? I mean, it's not just they need, you need to give bacteria food to, to eat, you know, and to get them to do what you want them to do. Yep. Right. Not just simply throw bacteria in there. And that's why bug count just doesn't always get the job done at the end of the day because you don't just need the bugs, but you need to stimulate them. Yep. Right. And, and get them to do what you want them to do, you know. Um, so that's really cool. Well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, you can check out uh, Aquafix at teamaquafix.com. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, I'll be happy to uh, give you John's contact information here, or you can go online and, and call their number on the website and get through to John. He'll be happy to help with any issues you have. Um, we have a blog on our website, which is a great resource if you're interested in, in, in more things bacteria-wise. We have uh, this video blog, a Facebook group, uh, and if you go to our website, go to tpemv.com forward slash LDIB and register, we'll send you a free camo hat. So thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.